Meteorologist Kelly Moody. Switching gears now over to your first alert forecast. Another brisk night looking out over the Coachella Valley from the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. Another day of clear skies. A little bit of extra wind, but nothing too impactful. Maybe if you were driving through the San Gregonio Pass or traveling up to the high desert, you might have noticed that. But generally speaking, most of us felt things stay pretty calm for today and dry. We've got dew points hanging out in the 20s right now. You can probably still feel that dryness. This is going to be an important component of the next several days because while we will see onshore winds, eventually we'll be looking at Santa Ana winds and we know that that continues to bring even drier air our direction. So that's something you want to watch out for in the days to come. Let's go ahead and break down those winds. I'm not going to be able to get you all the way out to Tuesday and Wednesday when we're expecting the most impactful winds. I don't have that data just yet, but I can get you into the next couple of days. So here's a look at what we expect for later tonight. Those strongest winds right along the little San Bernardinos. They pick up a little bit in the over night hours, but start to calm down as we look ahead toward your Monday. Really not much wind to speak of at all on your Monday. It's as we start to get from your Tuesday morning into your Tuesday evening that those strongest winds start to pick up. And again, it's going to be a little bit of a back and forth, but eventually the Santa Ana winds will win out. And again, what that means for us is some of that drier air coming our direction, maybe giving our temperatures a little bit of a boost. We typically are shielded a bit from the Santa Ana winds, so this isn't expected to be a widespread gusty event locally, but we do have a high wind watch in effect for areas farther to the west through the San Gregonio Pass and then down to our mountains farther to the south. It's in those spots that I expect from Tuesday night into Wednesday night. We could easily see sustained wind speeds between 20 and 30 miles per hour and gusts up to 60 maybe even 70 miles per hour. Again, driving through the San Gregonio Pass is going to be a little bit tricky Tuesday night into Wednesday night. That's something you want to keep in mind. We could be seeing some reduced air quality off in the distance because of that blowing sand and dust. So that's something we'll continue to monitor for you over the next several days. And just to give you the full scope of this, a lot of folks expected to be in impacted by those incoming winds. So it's something we'll continue to track. Here locally, temperatures are going to be warming up into the lower end of the 70s for tomorrow and then that steep drop off down to the low 60s as the sun sets. We keep those those low 70s around over the next several days got a little bit warmer for Thursday and Friday compared to what you may have seen on your first alert comfort air seven day forecast yesterday mid 70s, but still all in all well below normal for this time of year overnight lows hanging out in the 40s and the 50s again normal being in the 80s. We're steering clear of it, but you know we'll be watching those winds for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Seven number 777 across the board. Lucky, lucky, lucky yeah, yeah, I love to see it. It's good news. <laughs>